Hey everyone, this is Aaron Ashley Simon. This is Brandon Killer BH Hall. And this is Yo Whip. So oh bad. my god, why you gotta Terrible. switch it up like that? Word. Terrible. You might as well just kept it as Nas. The other Nas. Yeah, Nas. <laughs> you can't <laughs> switch it up and go Yo Whip. But anyway, uh, that's my Instagram handle. Trash. Welcome to <laughs> another episode of Grassroots Podcast, where it's just not just about your past and your present, but it's also about the future. Future. And feelings. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's a lot of feelings going on. I know. <laughs> Literally a lot. and figuratively speaking on today's episode. A lot of feelings on Twitter too. There's a lot going yeah, on. Yeah, there's a lot going on. All right, so let's start um with news. Uh now the news that I'm bringing to you is not relative news to you guys. This is my friend news. <laughs> <sighs> okay, here we go. I got another friend, man. <laughs> got another friend. It's got a problem. I'm sharing with you guys today in hopes that we can give this young lad some good direction. So, um, him and his significant other recently parted ways. And, you know, he's been doing the mature thing. They still live together, so he's trying to figure it out. You know, he doesn't want to kick her out, be a scumbag. (laughs) But he just recently discovered that when he's sleeping at night, she is performing sexual acts on him. So she's sucking his dick. <laughs> <laughs> to put it in yeah. eloquent yeah. words. Yeah, I'm, like, trying, I'm like, trying to tiptoe around this shit. Like, like he's sucking dick. They're straight to yeah. the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's not pleased by this. Okay. Um, so it, it dawned on me. What, 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 how does this factor into... Uh, I guess sexual conduct or m- misconduct <laughs> or uh, inappropriate it. Well, uh, luckily we have someone who knows a lot about laws and stuff like that. So, Brandon. Yeah. No, you're an expert. What are you talking about? Oh, I'll just zoom up. No, Brandon. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. Yeah, you you're you, knowledgeable you, you, you in terms know, of you know people in, in in law enforcement. So what what, what do we what do we do here? What do we do here? Like what? Like how would you define this situation by law? By law, he's uh, sucking his dick without, without him saying, I want that. It's a clear-cut case of uh, assault. That would be assault. Mm. You know, yeah, sexual, sexual assault. Sexual assault? Yeah, without yeah. using the other to word. To what yeah. degree he's would He's sleeping be with the enemy. I mean, well, he's not giving consent. She's, uh, she's a registered sex offender. You know, she's a rapist. Yeah. <laughs> now, does it count if he doesn't bust? <laughs> I'm asking. I'm asking a question. <laughs> well, yeah, yo, yeah, it counts. My it thing is, yeah. he is a right. very deep sleeper. In order for her to do all that, well, that was the other thing that I said. I'm like, like, fam, how do you not like feel that? You, like, I'm you, I, if I feel a breeze, an odd breeze, I'm waking up. If I yeah. hear a creak, <laughs> I'm waking up. Yeah. If I hear the opening of a Doritos bag, I'm gonna wake up. Yeah, like small subtle noises wake me up. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I thought that that was interesting, and then I thought about. I guess it would have to be assault because if it was done to a woman, she's assaulted. Oh, you yeah, know what he, I'm saying? He's done for if it, if it's uh, if it, if that's a man doing that to a woman, he, you're done for. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? You should you should really clarify for the trollers also that it's like, oh, this guy's a chump, this guy's a punk for for not wanting it. Just imagine real quick. Yeah, that is somebody that you don't like. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> the thing. Yeah, good yeah. good point. Good point. Now, so yeah. let me give some clarity here. He'd been with this girl for a while. Uh, Frankly, he's disgusted by her at this point. He doesn't want to have anything to do with her. <laughs> Thinks she, she's the scum of the earth. Oh, Lord. Total scumbag. Scumbag. <laughs> so because of that, um, he's very, you know, uh, no. I, I don't want to have any sexual relations with that woman. I yeah. don't want to be touched. I don't want to be bothered. We sleep in separate rooms. You have your space. I have my space. That is it. Yeah. Nothing else should be occurring at this point. Now, I told him that um, he's crazy for thinking that that would be so cut and dry, considering um, she is. Um, how can I phrase? I this? just, I just, it's. Don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> now she, she's she's a little bit on the crazy side. Let's just say that her her ethnic <gasps> background trigger word. Yeah. She's a little bit on the crazy side. No, for real, for real. And I normally don't say that. She's no, a little I was bit saying on the crazy. So it's like a trigger word for yeah, some yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, mm. She's a little bit there, but nevertheless, he he's made it clear that she, he doesn't want no parts with it. 
so now he's just being sexually assaulted at night. It's horrible. Yeah, that's bad. terrible. I feel bad. <laughs> that is terrible. Like, no, like, if you, especially if you tell someone no is no. Like, if someone tells you no, stop. Because yeah. at that point, you're just. But th- humor me. How do you go to the police station and say, hey, my ex girlfriend's sucking my dick at night and I want her to stop? If you go you to just... the police and say that, they're going to look at you like this. Yeah. Get, get out of here. Yeah, you're <laughs> like. Yeah, and, but that's what I'm saying. I, I I feel conflicted for him. Like if it's a woman, yeah. Oh, get, where's he at? But a man, you you know how much man shit it takes for you to yeah. walk away from that. Your ego I think is that gone. also kind of yeah, like I think that also go, kind of goes back to um how when it comes to like sexual assault and especially with certain situations, like guys are, you know, well anyone anyone that's sexually assault, like it's hard to let people know about it yeah, but then true. also like with Very men true. especially with this situation like it's also hard too because it's like you know certain societal views would be like well she's soaking your dick so you should take it but he's saying no he doesn't like it he doesn't want it yeah so it's like i understand why it may be hard for him to to really say anything and mm-hmm. it's 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 unfortunate so here's my question this is my last question yeah can i let my jokes fly on him before or after this whole situation is done, because I, I do have jokes that I want to get off, but I don't want to do it now because it's a sensitive time for him. If that's your man, you let them jokes fly. Word, you right? Do, you yeah. doing them? You gotta, you gotta let him. You gotta, you gotta let him have it, man. No? Well, you gotta see what state he's in. It doesn't matter if that's your man. Right. What you gotta right, see what word. state he's in, man? Because you never know. Listen, listen. Aaron you never know. Ruin the fun. <laughs> what? I am just being. A nice human being. Fine. You could do what Wayne said. <laughs> Yo. Put a condom, Put a condom, on, condom it. Oh my on God. it. <laughs> so so oh Wayne, Lord. Wayne, my man Wayne, who who is grassroots family, he said that <laughs> the best advice that I should give my friend is that he put a condom on at night. <laughs> That's a wild <laughs> suggestion. Mm-mm. <laughs> But right. I, I hope I hope everything works out for your friend, and I really hope like the situation ends because I I just know that like if if I was in that position, and it was happening to me, like I I would not feel good at yeah. all. Like yeah. I would feel violated. Mm-hmm. It's it's she's basically yeah, violating. Yeah, all him. jokes aside, to the listeners, it, it 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 is a really serious thing when yeah. you think about it. You know what I mean? Like you're you have to worry about sleeping and and having to. Lock doors and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like and I, I don't, I can't even imagine what that, uh, what that may feel like. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, all right. So moving forward to more um, news, and this is now relevant news, I guess. At this point, there's also beef in the shady camp. Things, <sighs> are, ge- things are getting a little. <laughs> Yo, Nas, why are you giggling over here? <laughs> Because I, I I want that. He's excited. About I, this. I want. Yeah, he's that. excited. Jesus. All right. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, let's get down to the grassroots yes. here. So last week, um, Eminem released a record with Fresher, Two Chains, uh, remix to Chloroseptic. Some fire bars on that record. Um, mm-hmm. Apparently, uh, from what the internet is saying. Not confirmed, obviously, uh, that these bars of pure venom was spewed at Joe Budden. Now, um, that's not confirmed. We don't know. Mm -hmm. Uh, Joe himself also went on his podcast and dismissed those rumors, saying that he did not think that, um, you know, this was he was targeted by these these uh, lyrics. Um, obviously, you know, 50 Cent chimed in yeah. on this bizarre who was a little upset at, at uh, Joe chimed in on it. Uh, my question is, if this is a beef, mm. Joe's retired, how, how, how does this work now? Now, mind you, again, Joe is still signed to Shady. They still have a lot going on, uh, I guess, Contractually, but mm-hmm. I don't know if that matters because he's 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 not uh, rapping anymore. But if a beef were to occur, mm-hmm. present day, what happens? Oh man! If Eminem releases a song going at Joe Button, what do you mean a diss record? A diss record. Okay. 
I'm pretty sure Joe's coming out of retirement. How do you know though? He's he hasn't he, come out for a, a, a few people. Like Migos. Yeah, he's uh, not. He's not. He's not gonna come out. He's Russ, not gonna. There's a few artists. That he's he, not gonna lace up for them. Wait. So you you. You also said he has a deal with Shady Records, right? Yeah, still he's still has a situation. Signed. He's still signed. He still so has if he does, you know, you know what's really weird about it? <laughs> if he does a diss track and he puts it out, Shady Records is gonna make money from that <laughs> diss track. They, they so would. anyway, would. it's like Eminem's are gonna make money from that situation, right? Not necessarily right? though. If he if he just puts out a let's say if just like a, like all, like yeah, if he just yeah. puts out a diss track, no one makes money for it. It's more momentum. Like when you put out diss okay. records or, or records, you're just putting out the record nothing uh, well, happens sometimes people make profit now, off of now, it though yeah, sometimes that's yeah sometimes know? the records do get serviced and you put them to itunes and you try to tore off from <laughs> shit we've back seen that <laughs> yeah we've seen that happen <laughs> we've seen that happen but the overall concept is is not even about i don't think when your mind is uh on that wave of battling yeah. you're not thinking about profit you're thinking about I gotta, I gotta put work in. It's, it's, it's war time. Yeah. So um, I don't know. I, me personally, um, I don't really. I'm, I'm kind of torn about it. Like I, I get, I get, um, I get Eminem's perspective. Why he would be upset. I get it. You get both sides. Yeah. If I'm, if I'm playing devil's advocate and I'm Eminem, I feel like. Uh, not even you just being signed to my label. Uh, we have some sort of rapport. We have a relationship. Mm -hmm. We, we, uh, and just in my mind, I don't know, but we're family in a sense, label mates, family. Yeah. Right. So if I, I feel like, uh, you, you going on a, a tangent about the, uh, uh, marketing strategies or, or, campaigns or things that you thought we were doing as a company um without facts is yeah. is horrible and on your platform i'm i'm feeling a way of you know because of that yeah um and then yeah i mean i think that's that's the only thing i would if i'm m that i would have a beef with yeah i mean i would understand that um Kind of going back to like what we were talking about with devil's advocacy and all that stuff, because we love to do that here on Grassroots. Word. Um, like, if I was Joe, why would I even respond? Like, um, I wouldn't respond with the track. I'm comfortable with that where I'm at. I am making enough money as it is. I'm having a good time. And if I was Joe, not to say that Eminem is doing this, but... There have been plenty of people that have utilized Joe or things that he said to um, we don't well we don't know if they did or not don't know that for real but they have utilized like any confrontation that they have with Joe has been highly publicized and sometimes marketed in a certain aspect yeah so it's like Joe Budden as a brand as a person is actually a marketing tool for other people if you think about it. Yeah, but do we really think at this point in Eminem's career that he really needs? No. Not saying that he, I'm not saying that he yeah. needs. I'm just saying from a, a double advocate standpoint. Yeah, it uh, this amplifies. Is all yeah, this it, is all it amplifies whatever situation, whatever content that you have that Joe made a comment about. Joe is just like a microphone. Mm -hmm. That's what he is. He amplifies not only his voice and perspective, but he also can amplify situations that he has with certain people if he chooses to respond. Mm -hmm. If he chooses not to, it can eventually die away. It'll obviously have that initial traction because it's, you know, everyone, it's, from a media standpoint, like, it's M versus Joe. Like, that is an yeah. amazing headline. But, you know, if he doesn't respond, it's going to die away in the media. Like, it's just going to yeah. go wash down the riverside. Which would be terrible for the culture. Yeah. <laughs> Nas, Nas is like, so yo. Nas yeah. wants it so bad well, for the culture. You know why? Because I, I'm, I'm an Eminem fan and I'm a Joe Button fan. Mm -hmm. So, for me, Eminem is top five, right? And if, and if I'm put, if I'm being honest as a Joe Budden fan, I would probably put him in top five also. But to be objective, he's probably like top fifteen. Okay. Okay. I mean, so Eminem versus Joe Budden for me as a fan, I want 100, percent and I want at least two records from each of them. <laughs> he said not one. 
He said two to get Not the catalog. Get, they can't even get out one record. <laughs> He's already talking about the follow up to the initial. He's like, nah, record. I'm gonna need an EP from Word. both y'all. You know what? <laughs> because all the stuff that that Joe talks about being a competitor and being a lyricist, here's someone in Eminem that can actually match you, and who has the capability, if I'm being objective, to defeat you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. As a fan, I'm like, yo, this has to happen. This, but I understand. As f- for them being friends, I understand that they're, they're wor- it, one is in, uh, one is a boss and one is you know signed to his, his label. So I understand why they might not want to go at each other. So here's my thing, um, and I agree with what you're saying. I get all of that. My thing is, I would be shocked if Eminem releases a diss record. Because I, I think about myself um, and, and, and thinking about things that would bother me and what bothers me. Yeah. And then I think about Eminem at his level and where he is from a career perspective. Why do you give a fuck what anybody yeah. thinks? So what, what, what do you think is that point? Like when, when do you say is that point in an artist's career where it's like you shouldn't pay no mind to no diss track? Or... Is it depending on the substance of that initial diss? Well, this is this is why it's tricky when you talk about Eminem. Like, think about how Eminem came out, mm-hmm. right? You think about him talking about his mother. You think about his 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 drug abuse addictions. You think about depression. Yeah. You think about a lot of things. Beefing with fucking um, Mariah Carey, Nick Cannon, a, a bunch of <laughs> sorry, just I, thought, I thought that was destroyed. Fine. Got him the fuck up out of here. <laughs> yeah. <quick. laughs> But but that's my that's my thing that's my issue. But listen, she's still popping around Christmas time though. Word. Yeah. Mariah yeah. Carey got that check around Christmas, <laughs> y'all. She, she wanted no problems. Yeah, she didn't want no smoke. But the the point is, my thing is like, why do I why would I care? I can't. Especially especially if uh, my mindset is, let me be me. I want to just uh, create music. I can still create music. Like I'm not worried about anything. I just don't. I don't understand what the angle would be there. What do you get out of that? Yeah. Unless you're just genuinely bothered by what was said. I think he's genuinely bothered by what was said because it's Joe, and I think they have some type of relationship of mutual respect, and I think his feelings are more hurt by what Joe said than anything. You think so? I, I, I don't I think know. So. I, think, I think so. I think with jo- I think with Joe, like when Joe really cares, he goes all. Out, we saw that on Complex, like mm. with, with certain conversations and certain things that he was saying, like people took it as him just either trolling or being crazy. But like he was passionate about, his, like what he thought. And I feel like, I don't know. I I just feel like he's in a comfortable state in his career right now, where mm-hmm. he may not feel he has to address because if you think about it. If it is a diss, like I said, we don't know. But if it is a diss, you know how many people have come at him this year alone? Yeah. So he may not. he just be like, all right, cool, whatever. But if they do, they better do some freaking no, so, Floyd. Right. They better do some Floyd Mayweather and <laughs> Conor McGregor shit. They better get a fucking so stadium and is, pack it out. This is my thing. What's the over-under? So let's say, okay. hypothetically speaking, Eminem put something out. What's the over-under that Joe responds? Because I don't know. I really don't know. I haven't. So spoken to him, I, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> that's a good question. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. That I he mean, will we respond. don't know. He may just if he responds, it could be. It just may be him responding on cra- on his Joe Budden podcast. He better that's not. True. He better not. I right. think he may. And he I don't know Joe at all. Never met him. He better not for the culture. He'll be so upset. <laughs> Look at you. He'll be so upset. He'll be hurt. Um, I don't know. We don't know. I, guess, I mean, I guess more to to come with that. I I just that kind of also goes back to the conversation where it's like, what is a beef now? Like, what? Well, that's the other is thing a beef too. in if we're, if we're really deep, now. What is beef now? Like, what is it? It like, comes in so many different forms now. You have Twitter beef. You have. Twitter. Me- you have meme beef. You have Twitter to song beef. You have song to Twitter beef. Yeah, and and now you have, I guess in essence, uh, media to artist beef. You got posting that artist woman on Instagram yeah. beef. Yeah, you have that. You have it's that. so many different forms. <laughs> yeah. 
It's like the, it's like yeah, the Skittles know. pack. That's like, yeah, so that's many like, different That's like colors. actually a, a good thing. I don't I don't know. Yeah. But now thinking um, about it, if if beef is that complicated, do we need it? <laughs> like, <laughs> if if it's really if I have to go through all of these different ways of beefing with you, even though I'm for mean beefs, yeah. mean beefs for me are maybe the funniest <laughs> Yo, shit ever that's in life. Hilarious. Mean beef. Who who is the pettiest person in mean beefs? I got I got fifty and. Um, I think I got 50 winning that. Yeah, it's 50. It's 50. 50. 50 is the meme <laughs> king, yo. He is. He's the troll king. Yo, he really is he the, is the troll, troll king. king. Like, he don't skip a beat when it comes to just getting on somebody. Yo, sometimes I'm like, yo, he got this shit packed and ready already. He got five different versions ready to drop. Oh, best believe. He 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 clearly has. He's not doing that shit himself. He has somebody on staff like, yo, make this no, I, right now. Oh, yeah, oh he, making it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course he does. The idea, I'm sure, is coming from him and the concept, but uh, the actual execution and the artwork behind it. I'm it, sure he does. He, he has to. He and has he got to. someone probably running his Instagram. Yeah. There's, there's someone running nah, Diddy's social no, media. No, 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 That's all 50. Everything on social I th- media? I think so. Yeah, I think so. There has to be someone that's helping th- him. No, he's that petty. Because if I, he's on dealing with power, he got someone. Nah, yeah. just because of the way his messages post. Like, you'll see where he'll make grammatical errors and then fix it. And then if a fan comments, he <laughs> jumps on them and like, yo, mind your fucking business. Like, he's very active in his social media. Like, no, I'm not, saying, res- I'm not saying he's not. No, no, but that's what I'm saying. I, I think that's all him. Like, he's in the comments like... Yeah, <laughs> like he's one of the people that you would never think would even have the time to do that. Well, he wa- he wants that beef. He wants that. He wants that. Yeah, he wants that. Got that copyright he, staff on word. set. Yeah, he, he's <laughs> not. He's not fucking around. Make sure you turn that C to a K. <laughs> <laughs> word. He's, he is a hundred percent not fucking around. But uh, <laughs> speaking of Fifty Cent, didn't they say um, that Immortal project that he was saying that he was working on? Yeah. So apparently, uh, he is. Uh, Doing that at this very second. He's Sorry, looking, someone's trying to someone's trying to face. Yeah, time. somebody's trying to face him. This is actually Joe here. Hold on, let me see what he wants. Hello. I am live on my podcast, sir. I don't give a fuck about all I have to do. Text me this girl name that you want to perform on the shit. The show up. And text me the song that okay. I'm recording on my podcast. I have text to Text me if she needs the band. Text me all of that. Okay, thank you. Bad about me on that little part. <laughs> <laughs> We're not. We are not talking bad about you. Hey fam, keep my name off your pocket. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, for those that are listening, that is Ice. You and you, you and you get it from Joe. <laughs> oh my. All right, I'm recording. I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, wait. Could you hear that? Yeah, you can hear it. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> So, okay. <laughs> For the culture, they better get at it, man. Yo, <laughs> now, I thought Nas would be like, yo. <laughs> no, I'm not. Stupid. Gonna, I'm not so, so any, I can't remember what we were talking about now, assholes. 50 uh, 50. 50. So, yeah. So, apparently, um, he is um, actually considering putting out music again or is still working on music. Now, we spoke about him last week on the yeah. podcast, talked a lot about his business ventures, how he's how he's grown, and um, him just being really, he's really solidified himself as being a mogul, right? Yeah. Uh, do we want to hear 50 Cent music? Kind of. <laughs> I, I like the stuff he's doing. Not, not that I have a problem with his music. I just think that, what he's doing outside of music is tremendous and and i think he should continue forth with it because like you said i think he can be a big force within yeah. tv and movies mm-hmm. uh, and especially as someone who is a former or you current former whatever you want to say but as a rapper known rapper for him to kind of move into that space that like not all rappers can effectively get into mm-hmm. I, I'm more excited for that. Yeah. Like, I'm really interested about him trying to change and switch things up because, like, power, that was a culture bang. Yeah. Like, I, that I, hit the culture. For that. He yeah. definitely, ch- I think he definitely changed the way uh, TV is done in that capacity of, like, when you talk about uh, series and, and dramas and, and yeah. needing, he, he definitely filled the void for that urban show. Word. 
Yeah. Uh, that was needed. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think he did a good job with it. And, and I like with Power how it's like, you know how sometimes it comes to, not any any recent ones, but like in the past when they had representations of like African Americans and with drugs and stuff like that. It was like kind of stereotypical. Mm -hmm. Power is like there's more complexity and layers, layers to it. Yeah, it's not just, oh, it's a black man selling drugs, this or that. Like, it's there's so much layers to it. Yeah. That's what I like about it. It's not that stereotypical stuff. Well, that's well, that's the thing that makes him a genius. I think he he pulls a lot from his own past uh, life. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like being in the streets and then also being shot and then going into music and then still having beef uh, <laughs> within music. I, and uh, the funny shit is though, to me, and I don't I don't know Fifty, but the character Kanan that he plays, I do think that those are certain characteristics of him. He's been playing the same character for a while. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't I think it's so easy for him to to play these characters yeah, that's him. because he's been that in the past or presently when he has to go to war against people. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's it's just an easy transition for him to be like, all right, let me Go in the, in the character yeah. and leave the office. Oh, somebody dissed me. Let me go back the fuck into character. <laughs> Making that call. Yeah, Someone's like snitching. Yeah, like I think I think it's just an easy, smooth transition for him. I think um, I think it just makes sense for him. The whole series, everything made yeah. sense. Okay, so aside from Fifty, who is another rapper or artist that you think they had an opportunity to tell a story in TV form? I mean, obviously. Guys, we're not, it, literally, TV is a different world from music. But based off of their lyricism and storytelling and their lyrics, mm -hmm. who do you think, if they had the right team, could be effective in television? Master P. Ghostface. Mm. Ghostface, hundred percent. I think Ghostface really needs his own show or podcast. Word. Yeah. Word. I, yeah. Like yeah. keeping it a buck, Ghostface would be fucking amazing. Yeah. He'd be yeah. amazing. Yeah. Shout out to that audio book he did, so. Yeah, word. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Ghostface to me yeah. has always, he's always been very interesting. You know who would be really good to do something? Um, if you partner, just from like a different perspective of the urban community and stuff like that, partner J. Cole with Ava DuVernay. That would be fire. That would be that fire. That would be fire. I that would be really, really Partner fire. those two together. Yeah, partner them together, that's fire. I have not a clue who that second person is. It, <gasps> Son, she is like one of the most transcending directors who's a female and she's African-American. She <sighs> did the 13th. Um, she She's amazing. Look, please look her up. I'm not saying that I'm no, not no, saying no, that I'm, be I'm an well. asshole, but like she's really uh, an amazing individual for what she's done like and the content that she creates is it's riveting i feel real stupid now you should <laughs> dead ass thought it was a porno star oh my <laughs> gosh <laughs> no oh. just, just i'm just yeah, just being honest oh yo you're so far removed from just life like <laughs> yo <laughs> like, that comment hurt yo. <laughs> that shit hurt that yo, that's gonna hurt the soul of everyone who just heard you say word. that that's why I keep telling uh, people, ladies and gentlemen, Nas is just regular Nas. He, he, he's not Nas Escobar. No, no bars. Yeah, there's no <laughs> bars. There's no fire in back of him. He just it's just Nas. It's not like she. It's not like her name was like Candy or. So it's, it's, yeah, like, it's many Abas out there in adult film. Industry. Oh my god. Yeah, but the like, I just don't they usually have like some play on last name, like play on words for their last name. Like I don't know. They just. You're going to open up a whole can of worms you don't want to go to right now. It's true. <laughs> what? With the nicknames? Just his mind. His mind is a little oh off. Oh, Lord. <laughs> his mind is off. Um, but speaking of that, you know who actually dropped really good statistics when it comes to their content? Pornhub. Porn? Yeah. They actually dropped... No, they dropped a year-end statistical thing. And mm -hmm. it was actually... It, it wasn't inappropriate. It was actually interesting. Like, one of their most popular content on Pornhub was... Uh, videos specifically Video, for women. Yeah, yeah, but I think they're also in the in the phase of rebranding themselves too, with their pop up shops and a lot of things that they're doing within the like the um, 
I can't think of I'm having a brain fart right yeah. now. Within the, <laughs> I, I don't want to say environment because they're not fixing shit like that. Yeah, the just uh, uh, image. 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 Yeah, yeah their image, I'll, I'll say. Yo, they had um, the first half of Hamilton on poor um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yo, I laughed so hard that when I saw that. Wow. <laughs> but I can't lie. If I couldn't go buy tickets, I probably would have. I probably would have watched the first half of Hamilton. Yeah, because probably. Because it's Hamilton. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> yeah, uh, on that note, <laughs> um, I don't know what else you guys want to talk about. That was really what we o- we had to talk about today. Uh, what else is important in life? Mm. <laughs> what are you young bucks? What are you young bucks into nowadays? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh shit! We're not about to turn this conversation. To Whoa! That. What not, you well, get a little more specific there? We're not into that fucking stash you're wearing. <laughs> I knew, I knew that was coming. <laughs> so yo, we're not into. I, knew, <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to come for Aaron. I thought it was. <laughs> but you do got that porn dude stash, the porn <laughs> yeah. man stash from like the seventies. Yeah. <laughs> hey, my name it's is trash. Nazine. I'm just coming to check the pipes, but <laughs> since I'm here. <laughs> Do you need anything flushed out? Did anyone <laughs> say there's a fire? Because there's one in my pants. <laughs> that is, that's, that's, a, that's a terrible <laughs> line. <laughs> you definitely would give those lines in there, too. Yeah, if I had to shoot a movie. Fucking weirdo. Oh, is there man. any trimming? Because I will climb that tree. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're being <laughs> mature. Um <laughs> want to uh want to thank you guys for listening uh also subscribe 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 grassroots podcast that's on uh instagram uh the twitter's grassroots pod no cast because uh we didn't have enough characters and then mm-hmm. also subscribe uh audio mac audio mac uh yes. we are on there as well grassroots podcast and then lastly uh youtube grassroots podcast check us out uh content 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 and as always be kind be nice yeah. Uh, oh, and, and also let us know comments. Put in the comment section. What is a beef now? What is your yeah, definition of a definitely. beef? What's it, beef? What beef is, is beef? beef? I was gonna go into my, my oh, baby shit. Oh wait, I'm <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> All right. What's a beef? <laughs> was, wait, was that like the tape <laughs> rewinding? <laughs> 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 I'm done. I'm done. What's a beef? <laughs> yeah, let us know what beef is. What's what's modern day beef versus old beef old beef people get shot and shit like that we don't want that <laughs> no new beef is is what what's beef and should so, we get rid of it should we even not call it a beef yeah is it like a, a, a is toast? it trolling a tofu, <laughs> tofu. A du- is it a duel <laughs> <laughs> on guard I, I offer you a duel <laughs> <laughs> all right we're out of here um i'm brandon killer bitch off i'm nas aka okay, uh, your whip Oh my gosh. And I'm Aaron Ashley Simon. I'm not advocating for my Instagram. Um, <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on Twitter too. Come holler. Oh my God. All right. We're out of here. Peace. Later. <laughs>